Today, we discuss the term two pass in 2023, question 17. First one, catch your first law and catch your second law. Easy. First law said that the algebra sum of the current entering a point equals to the algebra sum of the current exit that point. Okay, I in equal to I out. Second law states that the algebra sum of the product of the current and resistance, IR, equals to the algebra sum of the EMF in the closed loop. So two marks, I think you can get it. Next question, state one fundamental principle that associated with the Kutcher flow. So this is learned in the syllabus. If you follow, follow my video, I also mentioned it. Okay, the first law is associated with the conservation of charge. Second law associated with the conservation of energy. So we look at the next question. Two batteries, two resistors are connected as shown in the diagram. Determine the current that flows through each battery. So most of you have done this question when there is level on the I1, I2, I3. So you can do the level on your own. Okay, so this is how we can do it. We have I1 coming up from 3 volt, I2 coming up from 2 volt, and I3 is here. Okay, and then we have the loop 1, loop 2. So that's how you're going to solve the question. So these are the three equations that can be formed and you can try to do it on your own. So I've done a video specific for the culture flow before. If you're still not sure about it, please do more practice. So now I'm going to introduce another way or another perspective to solve this culture flow. So let me briefly explain about this method. This method is good, can be used when the question don't fix the I1, I2, I3, and etc. Okay, we're going to skip the first law and we just do the label on the loop, and the loop is going to label as I1, I2, I3, and so on. So by this, we're going to skip the first law. Let me go through this kind of method. So we have a loop from three volt, so we have positive three, and we have a four ohm, which has I1, I2 flow through it. So we have four times I1 plus I2, and then we have four ohm here, flow by the I1, four I1. Okay, so this is the first equation. And the second loop, we have two volts, positive two, and also the same, four ohm. We have positive I1 and I2, and then we have five I2. Okay, so this is how we can build the equation straight away without the culture first loop. And you solve the previous three equation I mentioned just now, you actually can get the same equation. So the different thing is that we skip the first law or we do the first law. Okay, so it depends on you. And actually, this only can be used when the question don't fix I1, I2, I3. Okay, so this is just an introdu introduction about this method. And this is actually applied in a lot more complex circuit question. So another way to build the equation is that we're going to look at the current directly. Okay, so this is another perspective. So we have three volt also. Okay, so we're going to look at the second one, three volts. And then we're going to look at the I1. So I1 flow through four ohm and four ohm. So we have add I1, and then uh, at the same time, the 4 ohm is also affected by I2. So we have 4 I2. Okay, so take note that uh, both I1 I2 are in the same direction as the loop. So it is all, uh, both of them are positive. And it is also the same as the second loop. We have two volts, and then we have the I1 flow through 4 ohm and 5 ohm. So we have 9 I2, and 4 ohm is also affected by I1. So 4 I1 plus 9 I2. So no matter how you solve this question, as long as you solve it on your own. So let me show you the answer for this question. So for I2, it is 0 0.071 ampere and I1 is 0 0.34 ampere. So just try to solve this on your own and you have different answer. Obviously, I have question about culture flow. Leave it in the comment section below. That's all for this question. Thank you.